Hi. On this occasion, I am going to try debugging a very simple project with the at start 407 board. To the right, you can see that development kit. In the app, at 32 ID, in the example created in the previous video, whose link is in the description, I have written simple code. What basically happens is that it reads the logical state of the user button, and if that terminal is at a logical one, the terminal that manages the LED3 changes to logical zero. So it lights up. Otherwise, the LED will be off. The first thing I do is compile the project, and when I do so, there are no errors. Also, remember to ensure that any changes made have been saved before the compilation. Now I connect the USB cable to my computer, and the board powers up. You can see that there is a factory default program, which consists of sequentially activating the three LEDs on the board. Using the user button, which is blue, you can change the speed of the LED sequence. I right-click on the project and select the option called Debug As. Then I choose Debug Configurations. Here, I need to look for the option related to the programmer and debugger of the board, call that link. Once I find it, I click on that option and verify that the microcontroller corresponding to the board is selected. I click on the startup option and press the button called debug. At 32 tries to communicate with the programmer debugger, and when it succeeds, a window pops up informing me that another window, referred to as new perspective, is necessary for debugging. It asks if I want to switch to this new view, to which I choose the switch option. You can observe that the factory default project on the board has stopped working, and line 37 of the main function is highlighted in green, indicating that the program is ready to be debugged from that line. Next, I press the button to run the code continuously, and then I press the user button on the board. You can see that the LED diode lights up, which means the code I wrote is working correctly. Now I press the pause button, and where the code stops is highlighted in green. In this case, it's at the if statement that checks the state of the switch. I set a breakpoint at line 110, where the LED diode is activated. I press F7 to step through the code, and now I press the button again for continuous execution of the code. I press the user switch on the board, and you can see how the program pauses where I set the breakpoint. Once again, I run the project continuously, and press the user button on the board. Again, the program pauses at the breakpoint. I can set another breakpoint, for example, where the LED diode is deactivated, but the code will always stop there because that line is always executed. Whereas the other breakpoint occurs when the user button is pressed. I can also disable the breakpoints I have placed. It's clear that debugging with this tool is not complicated. Thank you very much for watching the video, and see you in the next tutorial.